It's Saturday, 7 a.m. and guess what I'm doing? Of course I'm going to go drink coffee and discuss math with, with a friend who is a visitor at the University of British Columbia. As I said before, Vancouver during the rain looks pretty sci-fi-ish, it's so cool. And I love walking around like under the rain, it's just so beautiful here. What I want to discuss today while I was walking and thinking about math, I was thinking how math is super amazingly beautiful. And one of the thing is how do we communicate the way how we see and do math to other people? And especially it's super important to communicate this in the right way when you're applying to your PhDs or you're applying to your postdocs, to tenure track position, and just like to be an undergraduate or even community college in math. Because we always need to write personal statements and we always need to express and show a unique story about us. As I mentioned in the previous video, there are like three main components whenever you go somewhere and you try to advance and move in your career. Those three components are letters of recommendation, your personal work and research, and some like grades, resume, and some other like projects and stuff. It depends like where you are at in your life right now. But whenever you apply to any possible position, you always have the way to present yourself. And one of the best way, and one of the most common way how you present yourself is through writing. This is one of the main streets in Vancouver downtown. I'm going to cafe, which is located over there, to have some breakfast and drink some coffee. This city is amazing. I don't know, like if you have seen Blade Runner, this is exactly what it reminds me of. So you want to make sure when you're going to write your personal statement or you want to go into describe or the way how you're going to present all your accomplishments in a written digital form is going to be done in the best possible way. So the other side who's going to receive that, they will be like, just think for a second that those people who are like reviewing all those applications, they are like reviewing like hundreds, not even if thousands of different applications. And usually all of them are the same. You can divide them into like two or three different types. Maybe more, I don't know. But the idea is like, we see the world from our unique perspective, but whenever we apply to someone, there's like some sort of pipeline. Whenever people do something, they usually like follow different type of scenarios. From our side, it feels like that we're doing something unique. But that's why you have sociology and psychology that kind of observe all the data, observe, observe all the people. That's how like ads work. That's how like people are like big heads manipulating crowds and stuff. Okay, the wind is actually, it's pretty strong. Anyway, so that's why whenever you try to present yourself and to get out there somewhere, you need to find a unique way to do it. And the architecture in Vancouver is so completely different from the architecture from all other downtowns that have been. The closest downtown or like city in the United States that is, that is similar to Vancouver, I think is uh, CL. There are a couple of things for personal statement, for example. Okay, let me cross the road here. So the first thing is the, the opening line. Just remember one, like one simple thing. When people get the piece of paper and they're going to read your resume, your personal statement or whatever, Take in mind that usually people are going to read only the first and the last paragraph. So in some sense, the first paragraph, your first sentence should be a catchphrase, a catch sentence that will show your, the richness and the uniqueness of your soul. And the entire first paragraph needs to be a summary of the entire thing that you're going to talk about. And uh, you can use the different approaches, different ideas how to write personal statements and stuff. This is like my approach. This is how I was like approaching, applying to stuff. As the thing that I said about the architecture, look at the color of this building. It's so beautiful. And also I like the outside <laughs> architecture of this one is also so cool. And there are so many unique and interesting buildings in downtown Vancouver. Whenever you're going to look at them, they're just so cool. I don't know, like this is like blue color and this one I don't see because of trees. And the last paragraph needs to be a summary of the entire thing, and especially the last sentence. So that's why you need to make sure that when people are going to glance through your personal statement, they're gonna read a couple of sentences from your first and last paragraph, they will want to read the entire thing. 
and that's where you came in and that's where you go and pick each individual point in your first paragraph that you talked about and you're trying to expand and make sure that the other side who is reading that is going to fall in love with you so that's why we need to be really conscious and really kind of i want to say strict with ourselves when we are applying for different position towards a personal statement that we write and one of the best way to improve to get people's opinion is just whenever you have a draft print out your draft and give your draft to people just some of your friends co-workers and ask them like oh uh, can you please read and check my grammar give the feedback what do you think overall what and come up with some sort of questions that you want to answer about your personal statement and just ask people around don't ask one two ask like 10 20 people and the more people you're going to ask the better feedback you're going to get and the better personal statement you're going to have and this personal statement when you're going to apply to different position will make you to stand out so that's what i super recommend additionally to letters recommendation your research you still need to be you still need to present you yourself in the best way and you need to know how to do it and number one thing is writing and the only way to be better in writing is just practice practice and practice i personally i hate writing but that's what i'm doing right now currently also i'm trying like kind of to write some personal blog but it's just it's so hard it's so complicated life is so busy but but we need to push ourselves and we need to write as much as we can and write stuff that we found interesting and also to think what you're going to write about that other people might be interesting because if you have at least one reader who's going to read that it's already worth so please let me know what do you think about this how do you approach your personal statements writing and just go improve yourself write 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 and be the best version of yourself yeah thank you for watching bye